All right, everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the aircraft F-31G. It's a nice little quadcopter. It looks like a Mambo or a Tello or something like that. <clears throat> it has a little camera on the front, so it has a little QR codes here for you for your Android and your App Store and the Play Store. So let's get it out of the box and check it out. All right, here's what we get in the box, all the usual suspects. <clears throat> you got the quadcopter, <clears throat> excuse me, which actually does look pretty cool. Or test these guards, I will whack it on the wall there to see how that holds up. Here's the phone holder. The uh, bag of spare props and the screwdriver. The manual, the battery, which is a 3.7550. The charging cable. It's one of them, you know, you plug it in, the light's on, and then when the light goes out, the charge is done. That's easy stuff. The transmitter has three AAA batteries in the back has a nice feel to it now to put the phone holder on which i'm not going to do today because i'm going to be just taking it off in here you would undo these two screws here and this removes this little back plate then you would put them same screws back in there to hold on the phone holder okay so that's how that would work so we're going to bind this up and turn on the app There's an on and off button right there. Kind of hard to see. You just hold it in, starts flashing. We're going to bind that up. We're going to go over here and find the app. Okay, it's called FLDSS. So we'll put that on. Go to the app which is called Floraled, something like that. It's kind of a weird name. Okay, we're gonna sit down here and fly it for a little bit. Check out the battery. <clears throat> I finally figured out how to get the <clears throat> display off the screen. You just hit the little eye right there, the little eye icon, and then that takes off the, the uh, joy pad and all that, so. <clears throat> Let's um, start the video. At least we can do that. And let's calibrate it. And that would be down and to the right is the calibration. Now here's the buttons on here. It's real simple stuff. Start and stop right here. Or take off and land button is on the same button. This is the emergency stop. Uh, this is the return to home, shoot the video, uh, headless mode, flips and speed and the rates. That's all. Real simple. Very stable, I can tell you that. Doesn't move at all. I'm not holding the transmitter. Just floating around a little bit. It's mostly just going up and down. It's not going side to side at all. Yeah, it's very stable. Look at that thing. I don't think it has optical flow on there. I didn't notice anything. There's the yaw speed and the first rate. 
Let's check the third grade yellow speed. See if that's different. Oh yeah, look at it. <laughs> okay, so it's one of those nutty ones. <laughs> oh, it has a real big time pitch on it. You can fly this outside. I'll be taking this out. No doubt. Oh, yeah. The flips are a little bit long. <laughs> Steer is real nice guys, it's pretty fun to fly this thing. Yeah, flies good. Oh yeah, flies really nice. It has a little bit of a, the altitude hold is a little shaky. I don't know if that has an optical flow sensor on there or not. I didn't notice it. Let me check it out real quick. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does have one on there. I didn't even know that, but now I do. Okay, so it does have an optical flow sensor on it. <clears throat> I thought it did, you know, when it first was up there and I waved my hand under it and it did that, you know, that movement. I said, oh, that, that might have optical flow sensor on it. See how it jerks around when you wave your hand under there? So yeah, it has one. That's why it's so stable. Okay, so. Let's check this, uh, the guards. Come over here and tap into the wall a little bit. Yeah, look at that. It bounces right off of there. I can hit him pretty hard too. Yep, it worked great. Oh yeah, this thing's pretty nice guys, pretty nice. I want to recalibrate, I think it Don't want me to saying no, don't. <clears throat> yeah, it's very stable. The optical <clears throat> flow sensor works very well. So now I know why it was changing the altitude as it was flying around. The room, you noticed it going up and down a little bit. Well, that was the optical flow sensor seeing the changes in the height. It would go by the table and the couch. 
so it would see the changes in the height and it would adjust itself automatically. I can tell you right now this thing will be quick. I can just tell by the way it acts in here that it's going to be kind of fast. It has a really strong pitch on it. No, oh, yeah, I'm real happy with this thing. This thing's nice. It's like, you know, a little tello type deal. Oh, there goes the battery dying. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's bring it in. It's a beauty. We, we can cut the video. Well, hopefully the video saved. If it didn't, it didn't. But the video did run for eight minutes and change. So, you know, that's pretty damn good. Yeah, I think this thing's pretty nice, guys. I don't think it was that much money. Like around 30 bucks, maybe. Something like that. Battery's kind of warm. Yeah. Well, nice man that thing flew nice i guarantee you this thing's probably gonna fly nice outside great prop guards on there you saw me going right into the wall yeah real nice i like it i like it a lot <laughs>